Hello, welcome back to Baldy Cats. Now, every now and then, the gods smile on you. Somebody I follow on Twitter sent me a photograph which literally kills Flat Earth dead. There is no argument. There's no rebuttal. There's no perspective argument. There is literally no argument whatsoever that will stop this photograph from proving the globe and destroying Flat Earth. Let's take another look. So what do we see here? Well, we see Mount Rainier, which is over twice as big, over twice as big as Mount St. Helens, being dwarfed by Mount St. Helens. Totally impossible on a flat Earth. And I'm going to prove that using a bit of maths and we'll have a, a refresher of trigonometry. And then I'm going to send this out to all the flat Earthers I know and to all the globe Earthers I know. And we're going to get some discussion uh, going around this because there will be rebuttals. But those rebuttals will be ludicrous. And we're going to prove the ludicrous. So with the help of the person who sent me this photograph... I think this could literally end the discussion. Let's have a look at some maths. All right, so let's see what we're looking at here. That triangle represents the location of the observer. We know the observer height. Now, all of the numbers on this picture, we can prove without a shadow of a doubt. So I can't wait for the rebuttal to be, please prove these numbers. We know that the height of Mount St. Helens, you can see that on the screen. We know the height of um, Mount Rainier. These are all the meters. We know the distance to St. Helens, and that's the 86,904, and you can see the distance to Mount Rainia also. That is our starting point. So the next step is to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is impossible on a flat Earth for Mount Rainia to look smaller than Mount St. Helens at those distances. Take a look at the black horizontal line I've drawn, um, which represents the eye level of the observer from that 327 mark. Now what I can do is I can use that black line to remove the bottom 327 metres from Mount Rainier and Mount St Helens, leaving me with the, the heights that you can see there. Now that leaves us with this triangle here. And right now, all I want to work out is the angular size of Mount St Helens from the top down to the eye level of the observer. And we can calculate that angular size because we know these two lengths here. And we also know that the tan of the angle equals the opposite divided by the adjacent. So a little bit of simple trigonometry allows me to figure out this. And that's that this angle here is about 1.09 degrees. Now I know the angle and I know the adjacent, which is the distance to Mount Rainier. I can figure out the opposite, which would be this bit. Now that bit there represents the opposite of the triangle, which will be the tan of 1.09 degrees times that distance, which is the adjacent. And what that tells us is that that part in that red circle there should be, well, it should be this. It should be about 3,187 metres. This is the height that should have been obscured above eye level if the Earth was flat. And what does that mean? Well, it means if you've been following along with a calculator, like I know literally none of you will have been, we should still be able to see about 877 metres on a flat Earth of Mount Rainier above Mount St. Helens at those distances. So this argument here incorporates the angular size. It incorporates perspective, which I know a lot of flat Earthers like to argue about. And it just ends the argument. That one photograph there, there is no flat Earth. Gone. This photograph is only possible on a globe. That's it. I can't wait to see what people come back with. Um, and I can't wait to tear those rebuttals apart. Game over, boys. Okay, just a quick footnote uh, to end this. If you were following along with the calculator and you were using, you know, more decimal places than I was, I am aware that you may have got 877 point something or 876 point something or a, you know a, a very very minorly different answer to mine um obviously it's not significant in the context of the argument i'm just pointing out that i'm aware of it 